Okay, hey everybody, this is Carl from CarlSapsy.com, and today we're going to be doing our second tutorial uh, about Python 3.3.3. So the first thing you can see here is the actual Python shell. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this to the right. I'm going to click on File. I'm going to open up a new file by pressing Control N, and then I'm going to put this to the left. So over here on the left, we've got something called the editor. So this is where we are going to do all of our program writing. And on the right-hand side, we're going to be executing our files to here. So this is effectively where the result will be seen. So the first thing I want you to do is to go on to File and Save As. Or you, if you want, you can press Control, Shift, and S and I want to make a new file in my desktop called Python which I've already made and I'm going to name this hello world dot py that is the format of a Python file so now I'm going to save it and now the first thing we want to do is let's say we want to print out our name so for example I will pr I'll type in the word print and then I will put in inverted commas call end inverted commas and then and, and then close your brackets and then enter now what's going to happen is when I press run I can press F5 to run the module and the source will be saved and then in the results tab or the console the output console, you've got the name Carl. So let's try this with numbers. So when you're looking at numbers, you've got the addition sign, you've got the minus or subtraction, you've got the multiplication sign, which is a star, and you've got the simple division sign, which is a slash, a forward slash. So let's put this to some application. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be printing out so print space open brackets uh, 10 plus 5 and hit enter and now we're going to press F5 to run the module it's going to save it and then you're going to get 15 the reason the name Carl has also appeared is because I've also included it I've also included it as part of the original so then the third thing we're going to try is to print uh, 6 minus 5, enter, run, OK, and then the answer is obviously 1. The next one we're going to try is to print out uh, 12 times 34, and enter run the module and now we've got the answers 408 and then the final thing we'll try is a division which will be print um, 7 uh, no let's try 9 divided by 3 and hit enter and run the module it must be saved and then you'll get your answers 3.0 so now that we've covered the basics of math, this is purely on the basis of integers. An integer is a whole number, so it can be any positive or negative whole number. Now, if instead we wanted to try using a number with a decimal point, such as print uh, well, 2.141, when we print it, the answer will still come up as 2.141. However, this decimal point value here is known as a float. A float is purely just a decimal number. So let's have let's try some more examples with this. So we can try printing uh, 3.45 add uh, 6.78, and then hit enter, run the module and we get 10.23 and we'll just quickly do another division which will be print 
uh, 9.01 divide that by 2.34 enter F5 ok and we get the answer as 3.8504227 etc etc so this is all there really is to it when it comes to doing any form of basic maths obviously as the tutorials will continue this will get a bit more complicated as we'll focus more along the lines of the actual functionalities of where we can put these in such as in a small little game the next thing we're going to look over quickly is something I put originally over here so I put print open brackets in invert in speech marks Carl. Now what I've done here is what I've done here is I've made something called a string. So this is basically whenever we write something in quote it's called a string. So we can in fact add multiply minus and divide within the string as well. So let's try this out. So the first thing we can try is let's say print oh one sec, we'll just delete all of this. So let's print uh, the word hello and let's close it, run and we get the new name as hello. And what we can do now is let's say we wanted to make hello hello. So we will do print hello, multiply that by 2 and close your brackets and hit enter run the module by pressing F5 click OK and now we've got the name hello hello another thing we can do uh, as well is let's see let's say if we wanted to make four hellos so we can make print hello in speech marks and then we can times it or multiply by in brackets to plus 2 and then you have to end the brackets twice hit enter run the module and you'll get four hellos so now let's try something else so let's try the word print hello times this by 2 plus 2 which aren't in brackets and now let's run the module and see what happens. Now over here we get a traceback error and it pinpoints where we've gone wrong. So we've gone wrong over here somewhere. This is because it's, it's effectively saying we want to make a hello times two which will be hello hello but then we want to add as well over here and we it, it, the computer just doesn't understand why it will want to do hello hello plus two because it can't really add two to it because you can't add uh, letters plus numbers unless your letter has got a value to it so in this case you're gonna have to re you're gonna have to revise over it and simply delete it and then refresh the and then run the module again and then your word hello hello will come back up so that's really all there is to it when it comes to printing it's that easy when it comes to also doing basic maths as well as using quotation marks and making uh, strings. This is Carl from carlsapti.com. Thank you for watching.